Good afternoon, Lake Magdalene family. It's uh, another Wednesday afternoon. I get to talk with you and pray with you for a few minutes. Um, we uh, continue to hold the fort down here and seek to bring God's music and praise and communication and word out to you. Uh, today I want to talk uh, and pray about two things. Um, number one, remember who our provider is. Um, so much talk is about the economy right now. Uh, there's so much news about the stock market and um, about what the government is doing. Uh, let's remember who our provider is when anxiety and worry might be tempted to kick in. Uh, we pray uh, often in the Lord's Prayer, Our Father, give us this day our daily bread. So um, in the midst of all that's going on, in the midst of the economy changing, maybe your job is changing, um, remember uh, who our provider is and celebrate that. The second thing um, that I want to focus on in our prayer time today is it's so easy to focus on the negative and to forget about focusing on God's goodness. Again, we listen to the news reports. There's a lot of heavy stuff going on because of the virus and in the government and disputes going on in Washington. It's easy to get caught up in that. I want to read a, a, a passage to you that you know really well. It's from Philippians 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. The Apostle Paul is seeking to draw the congregation's focus back in the goodness of God, saying, Rejoice in the Lord always, even when you lift your prayer request to God. Uh, do it with thanksgiving. And then he says that is the door uh, by which the peace of God comes to us that passes all understanding. So let's go to our Heavenly Father in prayer today. Oh Lord, I count it a privilege as one of the shepherds of this congregation to, um, to pray with my flock today, even if it's over uh, virtual Facebook. Um, we praise you for being our God. We praise you for your goodness. We praise you that we're safe in your hands and that as the old song says, he's got the whole world in his hands. And he, that means he's got, you've got you and, you and me and my brother and my sister and our congregation and our families. In, in your hands. So Lord, we pray in the midst of a lot of negative circumstances, in the midst of a lot of negative and depressing talk uh, going on around, that you will give us hearts to trust your goodness, and that you will give us eyes to see your goodness in your hand providing for us, even in the midst of the storm. I thank you, Lord, for taking care of the families of our congregation. I thank you, Lord, for providing physically, financially, and every other way for both our, our families and our church corporately, corporately. I thank you for our staff and helping the church staff find innovative ways to do ministry during this this uh, difficult time and I thank you we thank you most of all for we say it often 
God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. We want to even lift our prayer request to you with hearts of thanksgiving for what you've done, for what you're doing, and what you're going to do in the future. So thank you, Lord. Uh, help us focus on this goodness, your goodness, your good gifts to us. And thank you all, thank you most of all during this season of Easter season. We can thank you for your greatest gift, and that is the, the sacrifice and the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ for us. And it's in his name the name that is above every name, Jesus, that we pray. Amen. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, I'll see you again soon. God bless you. Goodbye.